Myself and Mark, um, we met when we were 15, and we had Anthony when we were 21. We had Lee when we were 26, and Gracie then when we were 28. Yeah. Um, and we still have Anthony and Grace, and Lee passed away in October 2013. changed everything really big time didn't it that how does that you appreciate things little things a lot more he was born with fetal high drops and they never found a cause for the fetal high drops we thought he was just a premature baby we didn't realize the extent of what was actually wrong they ran a load of tests at the time and couldn't find a cause for his problems he had hydrocephalus, he couldn't feed. Um, he was very much like a big newborn, if that makes sense, that he couldn't really do much for himself. And it was actually our nurse, Brida, who told us about Laura Lynn. And we rang Laura Lynn, and within a week, two of the lovely ladies here came down and met us in the house. And the following week, Lee was linked in with the services here. He was 24 seven care needs and uh, you would work towards the weekend knowing that we were going to bring him up he would be well looked after in a caring and loving environment we then would have peace of mind to go away and relax or do things like I said with the, the other kids if we didn't have that I don't know how we would have coped realistically probably wouldn't have huh. wouldn't have he didn't sleep the best at night. He would have been up a lot during the night. One time he stayed for five nights, which was the longest stay he ever had. Now they would have kept him longer for us, I'd say, if we wanted, but we moved house in that five nights that we couldn't have done if he was there. And we got everything done in the new house and stuff, so that was great. They do fantastic things here that people don't even realize is going on. And it's not until you yourself are affected or someone belonging to you is affected by something like what Lee had, that you realise the great work that's done here. They offer like the respite, they offer the end of life care. He passed away the 6th of October, 2013. We will continue to support a parent and families for as long as they wish. We have spiritual care and, and psychological care, social care and nursing care. We run a day for parents to talk and discuss about their grief and their loss. Parents themselves who have been bereaved are the teachers, are the supports to other parents who have been bereaved. Without Laura Lynn's help, there would have been a huge amount of things that we couldn't have done. It's vital for families like us to have these kind of services.